Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me. So today is Friday, May 24th, 2024. And as you can see, we are at the Yacht Club swimming pool. I am in my bikini, so I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna be on camera, but hi. <laughs> um, so I wanted to take this opportunity. I'm excited for you guys. I'm sure you have a three day weekend and I'm sure that you guys are gonna go out on the lake with your boat this weekend. I hope and pray that you guys have a awesome time. Um, I pray that, yeah, that you guys stay safe and you have fun, maybe with some friends, if you have friends that are going to be going with you. Um, but at least you get Monday off. You don't have to go to school on Monday. So I wanted to take today as an opportunity to just bless your spirits. As I'm sure you remember before, um, we are made up of a body, soul, and spirit. Our soul and our spirit are inside our body, and our spirit was created before God even created our body and our soul. We are actually with God from the very beginning of creation. Actually, before the creation of the earth was even created, we were spirit, and we were with God. So, we were with Him during the creation of everything, which is really kind of cool to consider and think about. So I want to take today as an opportunity to bless your spirit, um, which is also can also be considered your spirit man. I'm going to read um, the blessing of your spirit. and I'm gonna, It's something that I blessed you guys with a while ago. Um, it was something that I had written out and then I read during one of our recorded um, visits and um, and so a lot of it says Warren and Clara because it was a visit between you guys and myself but I really do want to take this opportunity to bless Wyatt Wyatt's spirit as well so all three of you because all three of you are my kids you're my children <laughs> So, why if you're watching this, I just want you to know I love you and I care for you just like I do for Warren and Clara. As you know, our situations are different. Um, you have the ability to um, be in connection, or at least I think that you do. Maybe you don't, and Warren and Clara don't. Um, <clears throat> So it might be a little bit different, but I still love you guys the same. And so I want to bless all three of your spirits. Please forgive me if I ever read this and I just say Warren and Clara. Because, like I said, I wrote it during one of our supervised times on a Zoom call. And so it's written to just Warren and Clara, but I will try and catch myself and include you in on this because I do want to bless your spirit as well, Wyatt. So let's go ahead and begin. Sorry, I actually mounted this camera. Okay, so I mounted this camera, but I'm having to hold it while I mount it. <laughs> um, or have it. It's like mounted on this rail, but it's not really staying very well. It keeps sliding. So, Father God, according to your word, for you created Wyatt, Warren, and Clara's inmost being. You knit Wyatt, Warren, and Clara together in their mother's womb. I praise you because Wyatt, Warren, and Clara are fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, for we know that full and well. Warren, Clara, Wyatt's frame was not hidden from you when they were made in the secret place. When Wyatt, Warren, and Clara were woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw their unformed body. All the days ordained for Wyatt, Warren, and Clara were written in your book before one of them even came to be. Psalms 139 verses 13 through 16. Wyatt, Warren, and Clara... God made you very special. He created and crafted and designed you by his very hand, your Father God. Before the foundation of the world, your Father God planned for you. You are no accident. You did not have to exist, but your Father God willed you into existence. 
He chose the day and time that you would start your life. He chose your parents and wove you together in your mother's womb. He planned your birth order and put you in your family. He chose every one of your 23 pairs of chromosomes. He chose every one of your 10,000 plus genes. He chose every part of your spiritual heritage. He reached back into your father's bloodline and into your mother's bloodline. And from generations past, your heavenly father chose different parts of your heritage. Some parts are not so beautiful, and some parts are absolutely gorgeous. Yet your father wove it all together and gave you everything you need in the package of your life to be an overcomer, a victor, to take the negative parts of your heritage and triumph over them, to walk in the beauty of all of that God has placed within you. Your Father made you beautiful and beloved. I bless you, Wyatt, Warren, and Clara, because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Sorry, one second. <laughs> Warren, Clara, and Wyatt, God invested an incredible amount of effort and concentration in designing you. You are unique, one of a kind. There is nobody else like you. God has thought extensively about you. Every detail of your body, every organ, and every cell is the result of God's thoughts. Every faucet of your personality is the result of his kind intention. You are beautiful and you are beloved. God has blessed you with his love. God smiled on the day that he created you. He had been waiting for a millennia for the particular moment in time, the point in time when you were conceived. You had great joy in his heart. He, sorry, he, Father God, had great joy in his heart when his plans actually came together. His, he nurtures your spirit. He watches over you. Your world needs you. You bring something to your family that no other person has. They need the gifts you bring. Your family would not be complete without you. Others in your circle need the deposit that God has placed in your life. Wyatt, Warren, and Clara, your father God wrote your days in his book. Wyatt, Warren, and Clara, he has already read the final chapters, although we have not had that privilege. Your life is not a random thing. He is looking. One second, I gotta readjust this. He is looking forward to the chapters of the story that he has already written. He designed your spiritual heritage. Your generational blessings go back a thousand generations. There's a spiritual treasure chest of generational blessings with your names on it. Those are being released to you incrementally over the course of your life at the appointed and the appropriate times. All of this is God's master plan. God has foreseen your past, present, and future pain. He promises that because of his love, his power, and his blessing upon you, he causes pain and negative things to be transformed into good things before the end of your story of your life. We don't know everything about who you're going to be or what you're going to do, but you are loved. You are a blessing to your family, and you are a life giver to the world. You are special, and we celebrate God's miraculous design of who you are. I bless you, Wyatt, Warren, and Clara, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. So, Lord, I just pray over Wyatt, Warren, and Clara right now, Lord. I release these as your promises, your blessing to their spirit. Father, I thank, the, thank you that you thought about them from the beginning of time. That you even thought about who their mother would be and every single part of their life, their situation, their circumstances. And, Father, we thank you 
that even despite everything that we have all gone through, that no matter what, that God, you are on our side and that you are cheering for us and that Jesus Christ is advocating for us in heaven. Father, I thank you for, for choosing me to be their mom. Thank you for choosing me to, um, to pray, to, to fight this battle and pray for your destiny, your plan, your will to come forward into fruition, Father. I thank you that you have, you have a victory plan for us and it will be glorious. Lord, I ask that you bless them in the name of Jesus. You shine your face upon them. Just show up in the sun. Um, the sun, the moon, and the stars in the sky, Lord, showing yourself to them. Maybe even through ladybugs and feathers and rainbows and hearts. Lord, whatever that is that you continually show that you are present and you were there in your life. Lord, I thank you for shining your light of truth upon all of our situations, binding up all spirits of infirmity, lies, and deception, and illusion, Lord. Um, Lord, we ask that you're releasing the spirit of truth in our memories, and in our mind, and our thoughts. And I thank you for giving us courage, bravery, in our authority, and our identity as a child of God. And I thank you, Father God. And Lord, I just continue to pray that you will reunite us soon. You will bring us um, you will bring us together soon, Lord. I thank you in your name. Amen. I love you guys. I am praying for you. Um, I love you. I miss you guys so much. It's like some days are harder than others. And I just want you to know that there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about you and don't wish that you were here because I do. I'm constantly wanting and wishing that you were here with us and you were able to enjoy um, being with us, being with your mom. I love you guys. I miss you. God bless you. I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you. Bye.